Humans with superpowers. Excelsior, away! On Schizo Bob. This kid Stefan has memory recall. Super memory recall. He's a form of autism and allows him to view a city or a cityscape for a short period of time and then recreate it. He can literally just look at a cityscape of something like New York, for instance, and then come back inside and recreate it like the robot from AI. Okay, well, not that fast. That drawing kind of looks like the Death Star. I wonder if he can remember the whole Death Star. I bet Bob Ross couldn't even bust out happy, accurate cities like this. Who's Bob Ross could do, Bob? Well, okay. Bob Ross was particularly well known for his painting show, The Joy of Painting. Man, that's so 80s. It aired on PBS from 1983 to 1994. He taught people how to paint. Here he can be seen putting in a happy little waterfall. If you had a PBS show on painting for that long, you would have to be a superhero. Super painting hero, Bob Ross. Best afro on a white guy ever. Happy trees. Happy little trees. A little waterfall right there too. Oh, it's gonna be great. Olympic skiing champion Iro Montiranta could have been the first Finnish sportsman to test positive for hormone doping, which was totally cool back in 1960. And even further back than that, no one cared about doping until recently. However, he didn't need to, since he had genetic super endurance powers. Along with other members of his extended family, he had a condition resulting from a mutation in the erythropoietin erythropoietin something receptor gene, which resulted in the ability to carry 50% more oxygen in his bloodstream, a trait that is quite advantageous in endurance competition. Number 10. Super strength. Ugh. Liam has an uncommon genetic condition in which his body doesn't produce the protein myostatin. That hurts muscle growth. Individuals with this deficiency mostly have huge muscles with little body fat and inherent super strength. While Liam doesn't appear to boast any fantastical car tossing strength, he is naturally stronger than all his peers without doing any training. The only downside to his condition is he must eat more than his peers to keep up with his own body. Number nine, Michael eats a lot of metal stuff. We'll call him the metal machine. This guy is seen here eating what appears to be a piece of a car, which is something he did in the course of his career. He even ate an entire Cessna plane. It took him two years to consume the plane, but still that is fairly impressive. He would break up these things into small pieces and eat them with oil and water so they could pass through his system. I bet he was never low on iron. Yeesh, so many bad metal puns here. I bet his favorite band was Iron Maiden. Do you think, do you think he was ever on Iron Chef? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, no I'm not. Oh, I love the puns. Number eight. Oh, super eating powers. Kobayashi can destroy large amounts of hot dogs in a very short period. Kobayashi is one of the world's best competitive eaters. He was born in Nagano, Japan, and doctors say that his stomach sits lower than most people's, so that it can fill up more. It's also said that his stomach lining is incredibly stretchy, giving him the unnatural ability to put away food that not many people would be even able to shake a hot dog at. Speaking of eating and people caught sleeping, I said that if we got over 10,000 subs, that I would do a cooking show. And everybody resoundedly wanted bacon. QWYZL says, ANYTHING WITH BACON! The chemistry kid says, BACON! No bacon emoji. To which QWYCL replies, I was thinking bacon too. And then it kind of goes on like this forever on that page because apparently everybody wants bacon. So here's the deal. We get 10,000 subs. I'm gonna cook something wrapped in bacon. So tell me what you want wrapped in bacon in the comments below. Number seven, super memory. Henner has hyperthymasia and can remember all the minute details of her everyday life. It must come in handy when she's chastising her husband for something he forgot to do 20 years ago. But she was also pretty awesome on Taxi. 
So maybe you should remember all the cool stuff Andy Kaufman said. Number six, Javier Botet, super flexibility. In this picture, you can tell Javier is super long and gangly. He's this way because of Marfan syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that affects the consecutive tissue. These people tend to be tall and skinny. It worked out hot for Javier though, because he's been in a ton of movies. You've most likely seen him crawling out of the sewer as something creepy. Sometimes real life is better at mimicking horror than say like Jim Henson stuff. Number five, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy! One wonders why he made it so far, even after the seemingly endless amounts of drugs and booze he consumed. Apparently, he wanted the same thing and had his genome sequenced at the University of Harvard. They found traces of Neanderthal lineage in his genome. They also found weird genetic differences in his genes that deal with breaking down alcohol. It's possible that the Prince of Darkness has some genetic mutations that allow him to rock harder than the average human pig. Which brings us to our hashtag game this week is hashtag my superpower is and tell us in the comments below or tell us on Twitter at the schizo Bob what your superpower is and why you choose it. If we like it, we will feature you in an upcoming schizo Bob video. Maybe as a superhero. Number four, Rusty Hate. Hate is renowned for being his own crash test dummy. Rusty has the Guinness World Record for most car crashes, around 800. The crashes have involved speeds up to 60 miles per hour, but his most serious injury was a minor abrasion that he caught from an airbag. He ranks 24th on the men's journal list of 25 toughest men in America, behind 50 Cent, but ahead of Hillary Clinton. And I bet you Hillary can't even open a jar of mayonnaise. God knows she can't pour a beer. But oh yeah, let's just give her access to the big red button. So that's okay, still probably better than the guy in the wig. Ooh. Buddha says, be like popsicle. Scientists were baffled when he submerged himself in ice for two hours and was able to maintain his core temperature. It is amazing that he doesn't get frostbite. Seriously though, I would hate to lose the appendage. Number two, this guy was a beast. He lifted a fully grown horse once. He one time lifted 18 men on a platform. Hey, he wasn't the tallest guy ever, but he was wider than a barrel of monkeys. He toured and won several strongman competitions. He never made a lot of money as a strongman. That's when he stopped two men in a knife fight and carried their butts back to the precinct that he became a police officer. This guy has all the makings of a superhero from the late 1800s. Shakantula Devi, human computer. On the 18th of June, 1980, she demonstrated the multiplication of two 13-digit numbers, picked at random by the computer department of Imperial College London. She correctly answered in 28 seconds. This event was recorded in 1982 Guinness Book of World Records. Writer Stephen Smith said, the result is so far superior to anything previously reported that it can only be described as unbelievable. Man, I gotta get this lady to come play cards with me in Las Vegas. Hey, thanks for watching Schizo Bob. Please subscribe and tell us what you think in the comments below. Party on, YouTube.